Recent somber events memorializing 9-11 have me once again thinking past the obvious loss of life and affront to the American experiment to the scores of inspirational stories reminding me that the human spirit is simply the most powerful force available. American Airlines Flight 11 attendants Amy Sweeney and Betty Ong calmly relayed information to American Airlines Operations Center knowing the hijackers had already killed multiple passengers and probably the pilot in command. Todd Beamer, passenger on United Flight 93, passed information calmly to Lisa Jefferson at Verizon, his cell phone carrier. When the decision was made to let's roll and, at their own obvious demise, thwart the fourth hijacked airliner from reaping even more havoc in D.C. Then there was Rick Rascorla, a Vietnam-era hero functioning as Morgan Stanley's security executive. Rick disobeyed the World Trade Center's PA system, which admonished everyone to stay at their desks, and successfully evacuated 2,700 of Morgan Stanley's employees from the 74th to the 59th floor to safety. All but six made it out. Rascorla was not one of them, as he had returned to guide more out when the tower came down. Gander, Newfoundland, population 10,000, ended up hosting 6,700 stranded passengers from 39 grounded flights. Schools were turned into shelters. Homes were open to anyone who needed a place. Students were called into service to feed and, and clean. No one asked about anyone's religion or political party or paid any attention to ethnic backgrounds. And then a half a million people were evacuated off Manhattan Island by a makeshift volunteer regatta of boats called together by the Coast Guard in just nine hours. That was the largest water evacuation in recorded history. Amazing acts of cooperation, inclusiveness, courage, kindness, sacrifice. So every year at this time, I choose to look past the tragic acts of 9-11 and remember to celebrate the amazing swell of human spirit that it caused. Oh, that we could only find that spirit without the tragic catalyst. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.